as a young person, and even as you become older, same thing happens. Never ever let anyone put limits on your achievement. Never ever do that. Um, you are in charge of it always, and you can achieve as much as you want and go as far as you want, as long as you will to work hard, commit, and be as professional as possible. Rear Admiral Reuben Bookert from Columbia, South Carolina, is a devoted family man and decorated veteran of the United States Navy. After graduating from C.A. Johnson High School and North Carolina A&T State University, Booker commissioned into the U.S. Navy in 1975. Throughout his career, Booker served on many naval vessels, such as the USS Truett, USS Lemoore County, the USS Blakely, and the USS Kearsarge. Quite a few ships in uh, 32 years, as you would imagine. Um, I served on the USS Truett, uh, the Joseph Hughes, USS Joseph Hughes, all, all frigates, like destroyers. Uh, the Blakely, um, I think that, that was, uh, that was, that was, that's all I can remember. Uh, there were about, there were five or six frigates and then I served uh, in USS Lemoore County, uh, which was an amphibious platform ship. Uh, and then uh, the last ship I served uh, on was the USS uh, Kearsarge. And that was an amphibious assault ship. Uh, the last two, the Lamore County, I, I was a commanding officer as, as, a, as a commander, an 05 in the Navy, and uh, the, the Kearsarge was uh, considered a major command or a command for an, for an 06, and at that point I was a Navy captain. The Navy uh, pretty much uh, prepares you for uh, successive uh, tours or successive assignments, uh, so they train you at every level. There's lots of schooling, it's a pretty technical uh, environment, so you have to uh, remain uh, current. Bookert was promoted to the rank of Rear Admiral in 2002. After a brief stint working in the Pentagon, Bookert was given command of the U.S. Navy's Amphibious Group 2 in 2004. Amphibious Group 2 was instrumental in providing relief efforts to the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Huge effort. Uh, not just in, uh, in New Orleans, it uh, was that entire Gulf Coast is what was impacted. Our goal there was to provide any assistance that we could and the, the amphibious forces are really good at that because that's one of the um, backbones of, of what we do when we're training for readiness, uh, training for deployments or training for relief efforts or training for humanitarian efforts. So that's, that's easily enough for us to shift into that mode and, uh, and and uh, provide whatever assistance there is. Impactfully, uh, the hurricane itself, if you remember, it didn't really do the damage. The levees uh, failed after the hurricane, and the water did the damage. It was extensive. Uh, I remember going into uh, flying over the, the area, uh, right there in, in uh, Louisiana, and, and just seeing all the devastation. And at that point, realized that we had uh, some challenges on our hands. Uh, a lot of people uh, were plucked off of houses and uh, off of roofs and, and houses and just on shore and uh, quite a bit of um, other stuff that, uh, that I, I, I viewed. So I'll just leave it at that. It, um, not very good. Bookert retired from the U.S. Navy in 2006. Today, Bookert serves as Chief of Support Services for the Department of Veterans Affairs in Columbia's regional office. With his esteemed Navy career and community service, Rear Admiral Bookert has earned his place on the South Carolina African American History Calendar. Learn more about the South Carolina African American Calendar's current and past honorees at www.scafricanamerican.com.